the game dictates. When you start your business, young homie, in the very beginning, you're going to be willing to do anything and everything to make money. And then, once you're doing the business for a while, you're going to say, it's not worth the money. I'm, it's too much of my time. And then when you get other people to work for you, you're going to tell them not even to go after the money that you were willing to do to get your money to start the company. And this is the mistake, but this is the evolution everyone makes when they start making money. They go from being willing to do anything to, to not willing to do anything. And what they're messing up is the rule of money. And the number one rule of money is the game dictates the level of effort you have to give. Not you. Not your emotions. Right at this moment, I deal with a lot of realtors. Right? I deal with some people when I try to make transactions. And you know what makes me get rid of them? Is when they say, I need to see this, this, and this, and this before we can proceed. And I'm like, do you own the house? Do you own the, the commercial property? No, I don't own it. Then why the hell do you need to see it? Because I need to see if you're wasting my time. And I said, how am I wasting your time? I got to come in and see it. I got to check it out. You know what I'm saying? But they think they're filtering people and they don't even own the shit. Now, rewind back to when that dumb motherfucker started being a realtor. And remember, he was going on wild goose chases. He would, he would chase after 100 people in order to get one. He was willing to do anything and everything to make those chips. Now he's telling you if the chips don't look good according to me, it's not worth it. The game dictates the level of effort you have to maintain and keep in order to get these chips. And when you're dumb and you start getting arrogant, the game is going to get rid of you. Why do you think other motherfuckers come in and take over businesses that everybody else ran and did before? It's because the young dude, the new cat, comes in there ready to scrap to get everything when I was starting in the business right there was a term people use you know for new customers and they would call them one timers right and they would say you know Freeman you know don't waste your time on one time because they you know we gonna get paid but you have to hold their hand through the whole thing and that's just a waste of time and I used to think well you know if I was a dude who started off in this game and I would want somebody to hold my hand. God damn. I mean, it's just the rules of the game. You know what I'm saying? It's the way it is. And so when I started my company, guess what I did? I took in all the one timers. I didn't give a fuck. You know what I mean? If it took a half hour, two hours, three hours to explain game to them, I explained game to them. If they needed an email every 10 seconds, I sent one out to them. Because I wanted to maintain the discipline of saying, I never know what that dude's going to be. I never know what that one timer is going to be. That motherfucker could be Sony someday. And he's going to remember the day I didn't bullshit him. He's going to remember the day I gave him value for what he did, for, for what he was bringing in. And he's going to keep me on his staff. He's going to keep me on the team. Now, I had that in my mind, right, at all times. But when I worked for other places, they used to tell me, oh, don't worry about those people because they're a waste of your time. And, you know, the number one thing when they say it's a waste of your time is a goddamn lie. When you were younger and you first got on a bike, it took you a while to learn balance. But once you learn balance, riding the bike was easy. It's the same goddamn thing with business. For, 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 for someone to say they don't have enough time, that's a goddamn lie. The, the more times you do something, the more time you have, the more efficient you become. Don't ever forget that the game dictates the level of effort. This is why you're going to lose your business, young homie. Because you're going to think it's not worth it. You're going to say, I remember when I first started, I would be running left, right, up, down, everything and I didn't know what to do and now I know what to do so I'm not going to waste no time on these kind of customers I'm not going to waste my time in pursuing this kind of shit but you know why you came out of nowhere it's because you were willing to do anything for it you know why you'll disappear it's because you're not willing to do anything to get it anymore I'll give you another example let's say me and you are running a business let's use it as something that's simple let's say we're selling furniture and mattresses right what if, you know, if you're in a bad neighborhood, you might deal with people who come in and you know they don't have no money, so they're kind of wasting your time, right? They ain't bullshit. And if you don't watch yourself, you're, gonna, you're just going to be looking at people saying you don't got no money and you're going to start treating people bad. This is the reason why when you go into the hood, you have bad customer service. It's not because the motherfuckers don't really care. It's just that they've been bullshitted so many times and they haven't learned the game, right? Now, let's say you're the one who owns all those mattresses, you personally. 
you don't want to waste your time because you don't want to sit there and, and do and try to sell something to someone who doesn't probably won't even buy. Understood. I understand that shit too. But let me tell you how stupid that shit is. Because sooner or later, let's say your company got bigger, right? Let's say it's Mattress Superstore. And and what you're going to tell your salesman or the people on the thing, you're going to tell them to give customer service no matter what. You aren't going to let them come into your game and start dictating. What if one of your employees said, I don't like the way that motherfucker looks, so I didn't tell him, I didn't sell him no mattress. See, you wouldn't let him do that. But since you own the company and you buy yourself, you start making them dumbass decisions based off emotions. The game dictates in this kind of game that you might have to go through a hundred people in order for one to buy. If you start letting your emotion and what you want to do and how much time it takes get in the middle of this game, you're going to fail. Let me give you another example for the cats who out on, on the West with me. If you ever go to In-N-Out Burger for my homies on the West, you can go in and out. Them motherfuckers are flying to get your hamburger out, right? The shit, you know, you, you help them. You get in line, you say your order, and you immediately step to the left because you want to get help them to get more burgers. You know they speed and get them hamburgers out and fries. You go to McDonald's, right? The only time you see McDonald's run fast is during lunch. And sometimes they fuck that up. That's the only time you see it. And then you go to like Burger King. You never, I've never been to a Burger King where the motherfuckers are speed, have any speed. Because they don't give a fuck. Now all three of them selling the same product. Right? And if we only had to go to lunch for a half hour and it was an In-N-Out Burger, a McDonald's, and a Burger King. How much you want to bet that 500 motherfuckers show up at the goddamn In-N-Out 100 show up at McDonald's and 50 show up at Burger King. Really no difference in burgers. If Burger King had the better service, faster service, right? Everybody would go to Burger King because they're not making the decision based off the taste of the hamburger. They're making the decision based on the time they have and they want the fastest do. The game dictates how much effort you have to give. That's what I'm trying to get you to understand here with this conversation. Don't let your ego get in the way of the money of your progress because people are going to teach you that let me give you a better example with me and you own a car dealership small one right and uh you you have people coming in they didn't have their money right and you're saying get out of here man you don't got your money right if you had a big car dealership and you know what i'm saying and and people said you know i want to test drive it you're going to test drive it. you take their license those motherfuckers run in the back make a copy come back out let's go test drive it but if you want a small dealership, they don't want to do that shit because they think they waste, you're wasting their time. But see, it's the same game. The game dictates in that car dealership scenario that you give them a test drive. You let them convince themselves. You give them everything they need to convince themselves of that buy. But when you're small and you're by yourself, and if you're unwilling to scrap and do that shit, you're going to lose. I bring all this shit up because you know what? I had to learn a lesson in business myself. I was sitting there talking to my nephew and, you know, trying to still put him up on game. And then I regurgitate the shit back on the rise and grind. And I said, whatever it was that you did to start up your company that blew up, you need to write it down. You need to videotape yourself and you need to remind yourself of what you were willing to do. Because like anything else, the reason why a motherfucker who's starving come up fast is because he wants, he's, he's hungry and he's willing to do anything to eat. The reason why the dude in the middle uh, just accumulates things he's hustling to get the little things he needs the reason why the rich dude is always fat and sloppy and the company might disappear is because he got his needs met and he done so the only way he can keep that company pushing hard is to keep bringing in hungry motherfuckers like you and conning them into believing that you know your future depends on how much hustle how much you give to the company you understand what I mean the game dictates the level of effort you have to give. When I was in school, right, in, in regular undergrad school, I didn't have to give a good effort, too much of a big effort to get decent grades. But you know, when I got to law school, I had to read like maybe three, four hours a day. I never read three, four hours a day. But that, in other words, if I didn't read that much, I was going to flunk out of motherfucking school. The game dictated how much effort I had to give at all times. Not me. You understand what I'm saying? And this is the competitive edge that makes some people turn into big businesses and why some motherfuckers stay small. You understand what I mean? The game will dictate the effort. Law school dictated that I needed to be 
more of a, of a student, more reading. You understand what I mean? Law school dictated that this is the level I needed to operate at. The reason why I even put all this shit out, long story short, I put it out so you know that the effort you give in the beginning, it's like listening to a rapper's album, all right? Most of the time, I like the first and second album, right? Most likely the first, because that's the groundbreaking. I was hungry. I'm coming out of this motherfucker trying to make as much money as possible. The second album, okay. You know what I'm saying? Because now, the first album, he blew up. The second album, he's starting to say, maybe I am good. And he gives an effort. Third, fourth album, they start putting out bullshit. It's all kind of collaborations with, with, uh, with fucking Seal and motherfuckers, <laughs> you know, some, some cello player. That shit wasn't what I was on board with. But they relax in this game. And then a young dude comes in with that straight out of Compton mentality again and takes over the whole goddamn game. Rap is about effort. The, the, game, the, the, the game dictates the level of effort that you have to give and maintain. And if you don't want to maintain that shit, you got to get out the game. I want you to keep this in mind as we grow and as we blow up. Because this is the shit that destroys people. You think it's all this other shit. It ain't. You know, people, when you're in a corporate environment, they put up a mission statement. Like, if I, like if I read that mission statement, I'm going to feel motivated. That's bullshit. But I tell you about this game. Don't let these cornballs with their goddamn theories of these chips fucking tell you that you need a mission statement. If your people ain't on a mission, what the fuck is a mission statement about? If the everybody in the company ain't anting up and going to kill motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? We have a weak army. We at war, and you and you telling motherfuckers you're trying to motivate them like it's a football speech. You don't get everybody on board. We don't have a good team. The game dictates the amount of effort. The game will dictate how to get million. You need to give a million dollar effort to get a million dollars. And every day that you don't give a million dollar effort, guess what you're gonna get? Half a million, a quarter million, thirty thousand. A lot of you cats, you go and talk to women pretty sure you do a lot of women get the game thrown at them from guys and there was a time young homie in every young man's life when you were just on top of your game you said the right thing at the right time to get the right woman you know what i'm saying to get the right understanding and the role right with you you understand what i'm saying that's what that's what you did and every time since then you know that the effort you give in pursuit of that woman has been lesser than and any woman who has someone who really pursued them, they know, they question when you are not. I had one woman talk to me one time and said, I don't know sometimes, I can't gauge if you like me or not. You know what I mean? And that was her saying, you've been talking, we've been having a good time, but I can't figure out. I can't figure out. You're making me uncomfortable. I'm not getting the feeling you want to be around me. Right? And she was right. I didn't really give a shit. I'm just saying, I'll be brutally honest with you. But the thing is, I can't expect greatness with a half-ass effort. I'm only going to get a half-ass effort. And if she is the the customer on the other side, guess what she's going to say? Keep giving me a half-ass effort. That's what she's saying to me. You're giving me a half-ass effort. You know what I'm saying? You're not really trying to impress me. You're not telling me that you want me. You're not giving me the impression that I'm desired. Bang. The effort I'm giving, the game of talking to this woman... I was not given the effort necessary to win. And I lost. You understand what I'm saying? But this is the thing you have to realize in this game. Don't allow yourself. And I'm not telling you, it's very hard. Let me throw this in there. You ain't going to be 10 for 10 every motherfucking day. Right? It's just that you don't want to settle for 5 for 10. Five for 10 and you don't want to ever get down to 2 for 10. You might want to stay at 8 if you can. And it's going to be hard. Because every day you don't feel like giving an effort. Some days you feel good. Some days you feel bad. But I'm letting you know. The game won't wait on you. It's going to leave your ass. You know what I'm saying? The money's going to leave your ass. Other dudes are coming. This is the nature of the game. Somebody will come up right behind you and take your shit. He will see. She will see all the things that you have developed. You will lace the world. And then you will get lazy. And they got to say. I remember when Freeman put the shit out and he had the podcast with the intro and then he had the, the funny part and he had this and then you know what I'm saying he started slacking off you know what I'm saying 
And damn, man, you know, I used to come to the Freeman Spine, it would be this. Now I'm just reading stupid shit. And, and hey, this is the, the game is dictating to me that in order to maintain and be effective in, in delivering the message on the rise and grind, that I got to keep pushing myself to make sure I'm delivering top notch, you know what I'm saying, information, top notch product to your ears, young partner. I got to keep doing that. And it is hard. But I can't, I can't take it for granted. I can't say, I got all my peoples. They know who I am. You know what I'm saying? It's like you believing in me in the beginning. I put out that Reasonable Doubt album. You love it. It was a street hit. I put out another one. You know what I'm saying? Blueprint. Damn, I love it. You put Blueprint 2. You know what I'm saying? He's slipping. You put out some other shit. You put out, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, God forgives and I don't or whatever. And then you say, man, he put out a whack album. You understand what I'm saying? Because I was rolling with him. Because every day hustling, I was with that shit. You know what I'm saying? I was with a lot of shit. Now he's now he slacking in the game. The game dictates the level of effort you have to maintain in order to get rich. And the way you stay perpetually rich is to stay as close to the effort you gave that built the shit from nothing. That is a hell of an effort. And you have to learn how to either maintain it or build the systems that maintain it. When people bring in technology to their company, right? They bring in technology because it's going to enhance the game. They might be able to do twice as much in, in half the time. That's enhancing their game. They're saying, we used to have to operate at 10. Now we can operate at 7 because now we have a system that got rid of all the inefficiencies. You got to understand this shit. And I hope I'm not going over a lot of you cats heads. Because without this, you're going to fail. Without you understanding that you need to somehow maintain a higher level of quality, a higher level of speed, you're going to you're going to fall off. And it's, it comes to all of us, young homie. It comes to all of us that have got over that mountain. Who wants to keep climbing mountains? Crazy motherfuckers. But we have to keep walking forward. We got to keep going up that path. You know what I'm saying? And we, that is the effort we have to give all the time. The game dictates the amount you have to give of yourself in order to succeed. A lot of people, they go into business and they try to find some kind of equilibrium. They try to find some balance. They try to find some place where they can stop and say, the shit's running like this. But even if you guys worked at McDonald's, you know McDonald's switched up the hamburgers. They switched up the machines they use. They keep trying to improve the process. Constantly improving the process. And that's what I mean by the game will dictate it. Let me give you an example for some of you young cats. I can throw one out there. It's something I was thinking about for a restaurant of mine. Right? What if you came to the restaurant, you made a reservation you know what i'm saying at freeman food homie you you picked up the phone the dude picked up the phone you said hey i want to be there at five and you say cool just like any other restaurant you might make a reservation but what if the dude on the other line at freeman food said hey uh mr johnson what do you want your your uh, uh appetizer to be what would you like to start off with and and then we took that down and as soon as you came in and said reservation for mr johnson the dude in the back fired up the grill, got your shit out. Almost within 10 seconds of you sitting down, you had your whatever your appetizer was. Right? And now, I've improved the game, but look at it from a business point of view. Now I got you sitting at the table already eating within 10 seconds or a minute of sitting down. You're going to order your main course. You're going to be in and out of that chair probably 15 minutes earlier. Just one thing I did. Right? And now, when you think about going to a restaurant... Right? Since Freeman Foods give you that level of service, guess what? You're going to come back to Freeman Foods every time you choose to do it. And if I open up 10 other restaurants with the same Freeman Foods mentality, you're going to come to all 10 of my restaurants. The game. I've, I've improved the game. Now, everyone else who comes and starts a restaurant, I dictated the level of effort that they're going to have to give in order for you to come to their restaurant. I just want you to know, I just switched that around for you to say you can improve upon the game too, but you have to maintain that effort now too. You know, because people tell you you're slacking. But the game dictates it. It's not in your hands, homie. Let me tell you what's in your hands. What's in your hands is you being willing to do it. 
willing to do everything to make the money you need willing to do everything to satisfy the customer to get that motherfucker out of his give him your, get his money out of his pocket and put him in yours don't ever forget that the game dictates it dictates the level of effort necessary to make money million dollar efforts result in millions billion dollar efforts results in billions half ass efforts result in you looking like an ass next time partner